Earth's castle of some heroes William Randolph Hearst had many dedicated and loyal employees and some of them filled multiple positions of employment. A local gentleman named Wilfred Lyons proved during and after his employment here that hard work and perseverance can lead to a full and prosperous life. Wilfred Lyons was born in 1912 and raised in Cambria, California, just south of Hearst Castle. In high school, he was described as courteous, with a ready smile, pleasant voice, and a winning personality, and was winner of a popularity contest. He was captain of two basketball teams, a member of the Glee Club, and was the leading man in a play and an operetta. Mr. Lyons worked hard, eight to 10 hours a day, in the various positions, sometimes seven days a week, for $80 to $100 per month, which is about 25 to 50 cents per hour, which was considered good pay during the Great Depression. And he liked the movie stars that came up here. He thought that was a great thing. He worked for Mr. Hurst eight years and thought it was special to see all the actors and actresses that were here as guests. When he was gatekeeper, Mr. Lyons said that Cary Grant, a frequent guest and an elegant and comedic A-list actor of the time, would visit with him at the gatehouse or the gate and chat. He drove world famous femme fatale actress Pola Negri to King City he also picked up guests when they arrived by plane and sometimes drove them to Cambria, brought guest luggage to rooms, performed odd kitchen jobs, ran a bunkhouse commissary, and helped settle newly arrived workmen. Wilfred Lyons died in 2009 at 97 years old and left behind some great accomplishments, including being a volunteer fireman for 30 years. Also, he was Man of the Year in 1973, was a member of the Cambria Grammar School and Hospital or Healthcare District's Board of Directors, and was unofficial mayor and historian of Cambria. Mr. Lyons has proven that hard work and versatility can lead to a full and prosperous life.